All right. So this looks higher uh, than just, I think it's only like 700 feet to the top, but I could be wrong on that. I'll put the stats on the screen now. Um, it's less than a mile to the top, but you wrap around the back side. You don't just go up right here. And there's a handful of other cars in the parking lot. So presumably I'm gonna see other people. It's gonna be on the verge of getting dark when I get back. I'm not taking a pack or water or anything. I think I can bang out, uh, you know, eight tenths of a mile and 600 feet of gain or something without any pack. So I will check in as I'm wrapping around and heading up, but this should be a pretty, pretty short video. My legs are starting to tighten up a little bit. Been a fairly long day, or will be a long day. So we started on the northwest corner. We've wrapped around to the east side now. You walk along a fence and then you start heading up and there will be a steep little section. Um, you can see there's trails on the fence that says dangerous animals, private property, keep out. I think that's a joke, but I find it funny. So you can see typical volcanic landscape with all the black igneous rock, but uh, I've already seen two groups of two coming down. There should be more up there still too. So this trail changed. When I was here before, you went up this steep slope, but now they seem to have built a gradual trail up. So I guess I'll take the gradual trail. I don't know if you're supposed to go on that one, but I definitely went up that one before. Um, and it was steep. You were like sliding back a couple times, struggling to gain traction. So, ah, uh, this is actually a very easy hike when they make this mellow trail all the way up that switches back real slow. We still have quite a bit to gain. It's a lot of mileage, I guess. Well, I think we've hit the rim. That trail made it a lot easier. We have. So, question is, do we go around it? Do we go down in it? I mean, we got time. I'm just watching the game. I did it before, so you know what? I am going to. Especially because I can just chill and watch the football game. So. I guess I should have given you a lay of the land. Let's look at uh, back to Snow Canyon here. It's hard to pick out that peak I was on top of. Yeah, I'm not, it's, it's really hard to see. I see that white one there, but it wasn't, that was a false summit connected to that other one on the ridge. So I think it was a different one, but the problem is the other ones are red and this, our mine was white. So I don't know if you see that white one sort of in the center, that's either the summit or one of the false summits. So yeah, gorgeous. Seeing down to, that's I guess St. George. I don't know exactly where the center of St. George is. Um, but we don't have a lot of daylight left. We only got, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. So I'm gonna go wrap around. I'll go down, I'll show you what it looks like inside and show you a view from the other side, but then uh, that'll be a wrap. Well, we're on the other side. Car's still there. And uh, this is a quaint, I don't know if this is its own town or what this is, but this is this isolated little area right here, which looks pretty cool. There's another cinder cone out there, and then I don't, I guess I've never driven this way north. I don't know where this goes north. So let's, uh, let's get down in this. See if we can find any treasure. This is gonna be nice and steep. Ugh. It should be fun coming back up, but luckily it's not very far. It's like a hundred feet. Bonus vert. 
I really am only gonna end up doing like probably about a mile of vert today, but just with a lot of uh, off trail scrambly stuff, it just takes longer. Alright, we are down inside the cinder cone. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Well, that's going to be that's going to be a wrap on Cinder Cone. So, easy little hike if you're in the Snow Canyon area, St. George area, um and you don't want a hard, you know, off-trail thing. Um this is a nice easy one. <laughs>